everybody, this is Praxis, and they just finished up the solar hot water system. Here are the panels up on the roof. They're eight by four foot panels. Uh, you can see in this corner, the cold water feeds the system up into this corner. It goes through a series of kind of manifolds and things, and then emerges up on the upper right-hand corner up here, and then gets pumped down. And these are the two pipes in this trench that are feeding the system. Cold water goes out one and warm water goes back in the other way. It's an awful lot like the system that I have under the floor of having the, the warm air going down under the floor uh, except that the warm air is releasing its heat and in this case the cold water is collecting the heat from the heat collectors. Really nice work, really clean lines, very well done. This is definitely uh, the uh, concrete people, the solar hot water people, top of my list, landscape people, pretty good. These guys were good contractors, and it feels really good to have someone that's come in and do uh, really nice work. There's a bunch of stuff on the inside next to the tank. I'm going to be showing you guys that in a later episode when we're really setting the thing up. At the moment, there's no water in the tank, and they were saying make sure you don't run this without water in the tank so nothing overheats. Uh, but once we get that thing you know, on and we're turning it on and everything, we can go through those menus and you can kind of see how that whole thing functions. Uh, what I'm here to do today is I want to check on what kind of an extra uh, piece of conduit I can run alongside these. In addition to these two um, uh, pieces of conduit that they put in, I want to put a power line in uh, that will run from the house over into the, uh, the shed area here. And the reason for that is so that I can get electricity into the shed. Also, this area back up over here where the blue tarp is and all the hay over there, that's made so that my uh, parents can come and bring their trailer. They have a travel trailer, and that would be a great kind of parking space for them, you know, either just to visit or, uh, you know, leave their house, come here as like kind of a jumping off point before they kind of go on vacation and bring their trailer out. Or, <coughs> I just inhaled a fly. Black flies are out. <coughs> um... Or, in an emergency situation, they could come here, bring their trailer, and it just gives more living space, you know, so we can come together, uh, you know, uh, during any kind of, like, you know, emergency situation where they want to. They live near, closer to a city kind of environment, so if they need to leave, they have a place to come. Uh, I'll be bringing power over here so they can run power to their trailer. And also, I want to bring a water line over um, so they can, you know, connect with a hose or something like that. I never really made uh, an allowance for the idea of sewage coming from there. Uh, haven't really figured that one out yet. Uh, there was some thoughts about maybe going in through these holes, but they ended up using both of those holes. Um, there are a couple other options about kind of running it over, running it into the system. Or, you know, in a trailer you have gray water and you have black water. And the gray water, you know, as you guys know, I have no trouble just releasing that into a, a controlled area where it can grow plants or whatever. Uh, and then the black water could just be kind of tank or, you know, tanked over and, and brought into the hatch, the outdoor hatch for the the septic system. So there's a lot of options there, but um, anyway, I want to run electricity here and water here so that they can get access to those things. So that's where things are today. Uh, I guess the next step for me is get going on electricity, and also I, if I can get the, the tile in the floor of the bathroom, the plumber can come back, finish up all their work, and, uh, and hook up all of this stuff. And uh, we don't have hot water at our house that we're staying at temporarily now. We've been I've just been using a solar shower that I fill with water I've been heating on the stove. Uh, so maybe we can start coming here and taking showers and stuff. <laughs> um, we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, it's nice to have this done. And again, home stretch. We're getting there. That's it. Thanks for watching.